सी आई ई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट्स करिकुलम बेस्ड सीरीज ध्वनि शाला लेट्स ज्वाइन इन ध्वनि शाला क्लास सिक्स हेलो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू माई नेम इज मानसी यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉल मी मानसी दीदी टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू आर सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड दैट इज होल नंबर्स In this class we will try to understand how to add subtract multiply and divide on a number line we will also learn how to use the number line for simple calculations we will also try to apply these concepts of closure property of whole numbers in solving everyday problems so let us begin our fun mathematics class for whole numbers make sure that you have a notebook a pen a sharpened pencil a scale and an eraser friends in our previous class we tried to count objects around us and learnt that the counting numbers are also called as natural numbers and all the natural numbers with zero combine to form a family of whole numbers very good students so can we say that all the natural numbers are whole numbers Yes as all the natural numbers that are 1 2 3 4 5 and so on are also whole numbers but can we also say that all whole numbers are natural numbers yes you are thinking correctly since 0 is a whole number but it is not a natural number therefore the family of whole numbers are not natural numbers In our previous class we also learnt about predecessors and successors and we learnt how to make a number line In our last class we also observed that on a number line a number decreases when we move to the left on the number line while numbers increases when we move to the right of the number line So on a number line if i move to the right of 3 I will be at four, but if I move one unit to the left of three, can you guess where will be I at? I will be at two. Very good. So we can also see that all the numbers on the left of three are smaller than three, while all the numbers to its right are greater than three. That's good. You all remember it so well, friends. Now let us try to find. 3 plus 5 on the number line for this let us first draw a number line i think a number line till 10 will be sufficient for this question so take your pencil draw a straight horizontal line on a page mark 10 points on it now put your pencil on the zero and then let us jump to 3 from zero Now that we have reached at three, since we have to add five, so we will move five steps to the right of three. One step to the its right is four. Second step to its right is five. Third step six. Fourth step seven, and then on the fifth step, we are at eight. Yes. So we started from zero, jumped to three, and then when we move five steps to its right, we reached at eight. So friends we can say that when we add 5 units to 3 we get 8 units now friends we will try to add 5 plus 3 on the number line earlier we did 3 plus 5 on the number line but now we will do 5 plus 3 on the number line so now let us make another number line now Take your pencils, mark a straight horizontal line, mark ten points on it, and then from zero let us jump to five. Then from five we will take three steps to its right. Since we are adding, we will move three steps to its right. We will be at eight. Good. So can you observe anything here? I think. The observation we can make is that when we added three plus five first, we get eight, and then 
when we added 5 plus 3 on the number line, we also got 8. Another observation which I can make is that 3 and 5 are my two whole numbers and the number which I got after adding them that is 8 is also a whole number. So friends, can we observe anything here? I think we can observe that the numbers 3 and 5 are whole numbers and the result which we got on adding them that is 8 is also a whole number. Another observation that we can make is about the order of numbers. First, when we added 3 plus 5, we got 8. Also, on adding 5 plus 3, our answer was again 8. Friends, let us try for subtraction now. Now, we will try to find 5 minus 3 on the number line. For this, let us first draw a number line. Take your scale and pencil, draw a straight horizontal line on a paper, mark 10 points on it and now from 0 let us first jump to 5. Since 3 is being subtracted so we will move towards left. Let us move 3 steps to the left of 5. When we will move 1 step left from 5 we will reach at 4. One step more, then we will be at 3. But since friends, we have to take 3 steps, so we will move one more step left. Now where we are at? We are at 2. Yes, so we started from 0, jumped to 5, and then we moved 3 steps to its left and we reached at 2. So we can say that when we subtract 3 from 5, we get 2. Very good. So we tried subtracting 5 minus 3 and we realized that the answer is 2. Now let us try once again and try to find 5 from 15. So for this, let us first draw a number line. Put your pencil tip on 0, then let us make a big jump to 15 from 0. Since 5 is being subtracted, so we will move towards left. Let us move together. Let us move 5 steps to the left of 15. When we will move 1 step left from 15, we will reach at 14. 1 step more, then we will be at 13. 1 step more, we are at 12. Then 11. And then the 5th step, our pencil tip is pointing at 8. So after subtracting 5 from 15, we are at 8. So friends, first we tried to see addition on the number line and then we see how to subtract on a given number line. Let us see how we can multiply two numbers on a number line. So first let us find 5 into 3. So for that we have to draw a number line again. To draw a number line, take your scale and pencil, draw a straight line horizontally and then mark 15 points on it. On a number line, mark all the 15 points and from 0 jump to 5. Now let us jump again 5 units to the right on the number line. We have jumped 5 units 2 times but we need to find 3 times 5. So we will jump again to the right and in total we have jumped 3 times and every jump is of 5 units. Where we are at now? We are at 15. So 3 times 5 is 15. Very good. Now can we try to do it in any other way? Can we also do it in any other way? Can we also multiply 3 5 times? Let us see that on a number line. So for that, we will draw a number line. Let us draw a new number line and mark 5 units on it. Now, we will start from 0 and jump to 3. This will be our first jump. In our second jump of 3 units, we will reach at 6 units. In our third jump of 3 units, we are at 9. 
in our fourth jump we are at 12 and in our fifth and final jump we all have again reached at 15 units excellent so when we multiply it three five times we are getting 15 now can we all observe something here yes the two numbers that we multiplied that is 3 and 5 both are whole numbers their product or the answer which we got on multiplying them which is 15 is also a whole number also we can observe one more thing that when we multiplied first 3 into 5 our answer was 15 and then when we multiplied 5 into 3 we get 15 so in any order we were multiplying we are getting the same result that is 15 very good i hope you are having fun so let us try one more question let us multiply 4 into 4 or 4 times 4 for multiplication of 4 times 4 we have to draw a new number line let us draw a big number line I think uh, till 20 will be sufficient for us. So friends, take your pencil and scale and mark a straight horizontal line and mark 20 points on it. Now from 0 move 4 units to the right hand side of the number line. This is our first jump. Then move second time 4 units to the right of 4. We all are at 8 then move third time 4 units to the right from 8 we are at 12 finally move 4 units to the right of 12 on the number line where we are at we are at 16 so we observed that when we multiplied 4 into 4 we jumped first from 0 to 4 then our second jump was from 4 to 8 our third jump was from 8 to 12 and in our fourth jump we reached at 16 therefore we can say that 4 into 4 is equal to 16 so friends can we all now add subtract multiply and divide on a number line let us try two more questions let us first try to subtract 8 minus 3 using the number line so take your scale and pencil let us draw a straight line and mark 10 units on it now since we have to subtract 8 minus 3 we will jump directly from 0 to 8 and since we have to subtract 3 we will move to the left of 8 3 steps so our one step left is 7 our second step left is 6 and on our third step we are at 5 so we can say that 8 minus 3 is 5 friends we can try one more question now let us try to add 4 plus 6 on a number line so let us make a new number line and mark 10 points on it now from 0 let us jump to 4. Now that we have reached 4, we have to add 6 in it. So let us move 6 steps to the right of 4. So when we will move 6 steps, we will first reach at 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and our 6th step will take us to 10. So when we added 4 plus 6, we reached at 10. Very good. And can we also do it for 6 plus 4? Can you tell me what will be the answer to it? We can check it by a number line. So let us draw a number line again and mark 10 points on it. Now from 0 let us jump to 6. Now that we have marked 10 points let us jump to 6 from 0. Now that we are at 6 we have to move 4 steps to the right of 6 so our first step will take us to 7 second step 8 third step 9 and on our fourth step we are at 10 
So, we can say that when we add 6 plus 4 or 4 plus 6, we get 10 and 4, 6, 10 all are whole numbers. Very good. So friends, till now we have learnt how to add, subtract, multiply and divide on the number line. We also observed that addition means moving to the right on the number line, whereas subtraction corresponds to moving to the left of the number line. Multiplication corresponds to making jumps of equal distance starting from zero, while division corresponds to equal jumping to the left of the number line. So friends, did you enjoy operating with numbers on the number line? I hope you do. Now let us introduce a few friends. One day in the classroom, Preeti challenged all her friends that when we add two whole numbers, the sum we get is also a whole number. No one in the class believed her. She asked all her friends to give her any two random whole numbers. Shubham suggested 18 plus 5. Preeti replied 23 which is a whole number. Sana said 0 plus 2. Jaspreet replied that the answer is 2, which is also a whole number. Everyone kept on thinking, but no one could prove pretty wrong. Can you also think of a pair of whole numbers whose sum is not a whole number? You can also imagine a number line that if we move on a number line while adding, can we get a number which is not a whole number? So friends, we can say that the sum of any two whole numbers is a whole number. That is, the collection of whole numbers is closed under addition. You can pick any two whole numbers from the collection and the answer will be again a whole number. This property is known as the closure property for addition of whole numbers. Then Sohan in the class asked Preeti, what about multiplication? Preeti said that it is true for multiplication as well. They all kept on giving numbers to Preeti and she kept on proving that the product is whole number. Rama said 4 into 3 is equal to 12. Preeti said 12 is a whole number. Sana said, what about 0 into 0? Then Manish replied, Sana, 0 is also a whole number. Sana was impressed. Ashraf said, 1 into 1 is equal to 1. Preeti said, 1 is also a whole number. Suraj got extra excited and said, what about 1, 2, 3 into 1, 1, 1? Will it be a whole number? Manish, who loves calculating big numbers, find out that the product is also a whole number. Can you find out what was the answer that Manish got? It was 13,653, which is also a whole number. So all the friends concluded that the system of whole numbers is closed under multiplication as well. After some time, Sana asked Preeti, is this property also true for subtraction? Preeti didn't know the answer. So they all decided to check themselves. Manpreet said, 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. Preeti said 1 is a whole number. But then, Sana replied that 5 minus 6 is not a whole number. Similarly, 5 minus 15 is also not a whole number. Therefore, they concluded that whole numbers are not closed under subtraction. But you can also verify this on your own and add to their answer. Will you check for division now? Let us check together. We can think of any whole numbers and let us check whether the answer we are getting is a whole number or not. Let us take 24 divided by 6. We know that when we divide 24 by 6, we get 4. But if we reverse the digits and we divide 6 by 24, 
the answer is not a whole number. Thus, we can say that the whole numbers are not closed under division. So, for closure property, we can conclude that the whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication but not closed under subtraction and division. Friends, can you tell me what will happen if I add 44 plus 95? Will the answer be again a whole number? Yes. And will the answer be same if I add 95 plus 44? Yes. We can add in any order and we will get the same answer. Similarly, we can multiply in any order and answer will remain same. You can check that by using any two numbers. So friends, till now we have learnt how to add, subtract, multiply or divide using a number line. We have also seen a closure property of whole numbers and we can say that whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication but not closed under subtraction and division. Now let us see what will happen if we divide any number by zero. Can we do that? I don't think so. Let us check. So before we start dividing by zero, let us first divide six by two. Friends, we know that division by a number also means subtracting that number repeatedly. So we can write 6 minus 2 which will give us 4. Then from 4 we can subtract 2 again we will get. So we can write 6 minus 2 which will give us 4. We have to subtract 2 again so we will get 2. We will subtract 2 again and we will get 0. So we subtracted 2 3 times from 6 and get 0. So 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Now let us try 2 divided by 0. Have we ever done that? Let us do it today. So 2 minus 0 is equal to 2. Then 2 minus 0 is equal to 2. Then 2 minus 0 is also equal to 2. In every step, we are getting 2 again. This will never stop. There is no way that this can ever stop. We can keep on subtracting 0 from 2 and our answer will be 2 again. So we say that 2 divided by 0 is not defined as it is keep on going and going and going and we are not reaching any answer. So we say that 7 divided by 0 or 2 divided by 0 is not defined. So division of a whole number by 0 is not defined. So friends, today we learnt so much. We learnt different operations on number line. We also learnt the closure property of whole numbers and we realized that Whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication but not closed under subtraction and division. We also learned how to divide any number by zero. Now let us take some notes so that we can all practice. So our first question is 4 plus 20. I repeat 4 plus 20. We have to do this on a number line. Second question is 6 into 4. Our third question is 20 minus 7. I repeat 20 minus 7. And our last question for today is 30 divided by 6. We all need to practice these questions using a number line and we have learned very well how to do it on a number line. So I will meet you next time with a new interesting lesson. Till then, keep practicing and stay safe. Friends, you are just listening to the series Dhwani Shala. Production Assistant, Amit Kumar. This series Dhwani Shala was recorded by Bati Langlingdo and Vikas Sangwan. 
produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary. And uh, this program is brought to you by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.